Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? You know the old saying, if you don't <coughs> use it, you could lose it. And I haven't did any uh, YouTube videos for quite a while. And uh, <coughs> when I prompted this video, I decided to do the Canadian policy of alternatives. They would like to see changes made to the Labor Standards Code. And it needs to be updated. And I agree. Look, I totally agree. Uh, vacation pay being one of the th one of the things that needs to be updated in our province. They're suggesting, I believe, up to eight <clears> percent <throat> after ten years. And there's a lot of people, you know, that don't get that because, uh, you know, some do if they're full time in different companies. But there's no <laughs> equality there. And it should be, it's a lot of inequality in it that, you know, the workers don't get vacation time. And that's really important. They also talk about holidays. We are one of the fewest provinces with the least statutory holidays. Hey, I agree. You know, we just had Natal Day and uh, some stuff were closed and some were open. Some argue it was a... It's a city holiday. Well, it started off as a city holiday, and then a lot of things started to, uh, different things start to close in our area. <clears throat> but uh, it's no, it's no uh, balance here. Some people have it and some people don't, and it's uh, not right. It's the same way with uh, Victoria Day. And people argue, well, who celebrates the Queen? Well, I did some research. It is a federal state holiday from what I've seen online, but our province doesn't recognize it, and some do. These are the things we can improve on and uh, make life better for workers. They need time off. They need, they need that break, and they need time off. And uh, I, I fully support this report. It should include... Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Stores closing at four. There should be protections for workers that if some are made to work that they can refuse to because even if the store is closed, the same as they do with the holidays. It should be legislated to close. It's part of the Christmas New Year's season. All the go our government officials got it from municipal level up. Provincial, Stephen McNeil, the Premier, is home. Mark Fury, our local MLA, Suzanne Alonis, they, they got it off. Some argue that having stores open on Christmas Eve will give workers more hours. You know what I say to that? BS. Pay them $15 an hour. Pay them a good wage, and they wouldn't have to work extra extra time to make any money. You don't see letter carriers working seven days a week to get their shifts because they make a good wage. People, you've been scammed by these scam artists because this is what they are, they're scam artists. They want people working for nothing and they want to take advantage of people that are addicted to, addicted to shopping. And there's no way in the 21st century that anybody should have to do without. Your physical health is important, the rest, but what about your mental? They go hand in hand. I had one lady, I went running one day, it was over to the field house, local field house in my town, and uh, she said to me, we we're talking about Sunday, she said, uh, well, Tony, nurses and doctors work. And I says, you're correct. They do work. But uh, they're saving lives. You know, retail workers are not. But I said, since you consider us the same, then we should get all the same perks, right? All the same wages, all the same benefits, all the same everything. Because the reality is, a hospital is essential service. It's not 
it's not a grocery store it's not going to walmart it's not going to eat out those there's a difference between essential and non-essential and that same argument that lady used with me would never be mentioned to a letter carrier <clears throat> it would never be mentioned to someone at a bank or a mechanic it would be never mentioned to any of these people that are off on weekends these how these scam artists corporations work is called divide and conquer if you get one group of people ticked off at you you're not going to have an opposition to what they're doing because they want to be open all the time they want workers to be working for nothing they want their staff divided and this is so wrong in the 21st century you can't change anything if you don't do anything and this all ties in with climate change because if you're not feeling good about you how can you feel good about your planet and we're in a breakdown here we got stores open all the time with their lights on day and night burning fossil fuels and uh, nobody's talking about it even those fighting climate change we should be talking about it we should be doing something about it uh, someone told me today uh, there's so many things I want to talk about try to get them all out somebody said to me today that well I agree with you but we can never go back I said that's because the media have you thinking that I said we never had a February holiday before, but we do now. You can't listen to everything you heard on TV because it's ran by the corporations. And speaking about the corporations, I am so impressed with Bernie Sanders. I put his video on uh, the description. Corporate socialism. Yeah, what is that? And I watched that. And he's right on the money. These guys don't want to see a socialist government in that will give workers more rights. Because they want it all. They want you working for nothing. They want you working around the clock. They want it all for them. But in reality, their socialists do, but they don't want to share their wealth. <laughs> and Bernie Sanders is right on the money, right on the money. I was so impressed when I watched his video, and I never looked like it, looked at it like that before. The way they attack socialists and socialists this and socialists that. Well, they're socialists themselves. They're controlling the media. They're controlling the workers. They got it out there that if wages go up, prices go up. <clears throat> well, guess what? Prices are going up anyway. And they're just keeping people down that can't pay their bills or put food on the table. And do you really think that's right? You're being scammed. Look at these guys getting billions, storm, billion, millions of dollars in offshore bank accounts. Millions of dollars in offshore bank accounts. But they keep pointing at someone make a minimum wage, not even being there to make a profit. But it's called divide and conquer people because they're doing it all the time. And you know why there's opposition to $15? Because a lot of the stores, the big stores, top rate isn't much over that. I think from what I gather, from what I hear, managers make that. So you get opposition. They don't want the little guy to have it. And this, the big guys at the top, they love it. Because they have their, their managers against you or ones above you against you. And it's called divide and conquer. They did it with Sunday shopping to get what they want. They played uh, someone off at Tim Hortons against someone off at a grocery store. 
One had to work Sunday and the other one didn't. The one working Sunday was pissed off because the one at the grocery store was off. So, you know, two wrongs never make a right, you know. They could offer Tim Horton employees the day off, legislate it, movie theaters, call centers, but no. <clears throat> they wanted them pissed off at people in stores. Guess what? It worked. All you people sucked it in. Even people at churches. I heard them say, well, going to Tim Hortons is no different. Okay, so we're going to do something wrong. We're going to go shopping too. Hey, <laughs> two wrongs never make a right people. And this is how the corporations have done it. They're brilliant. But you know what? What comes around goes around. And the end is going to come if we don't start treating ourselves right, our planet right. We got to do something about it. And it's not going to change. The corporations like it when you're quiet. <clears throat> oh, yes, I want to talk about something else, too. I know, and it's all related to this. I've known a lot of people that retired over the years. I really liked, I missed them. And, uh, but you know what? Everybody that retires, that could make life better for somebody that's left behind, don't say nothing. And the more people retire <clears throat> that could make retail better and labor standards better, they don't say nothing. And this is just a vicious cycle. It keeps going round and round and round. You could make life better for somebody else by speaking out on social media, by contacting your government or, or which way you feel comfortable. But you can't change anything. You can't change anything by being quiet about it. It's just impossible. We can make a better world by doing something. And I do hand at Canadian Policy Alternatives, and there are different groups out there. And I even mentioned uh, Sunday shopping. I still do believe they should be closed on Sundays. And um, open to restaurants, etc. I think it was real dirty what they did to us. I don't think someone else's addiction should take away your family, your time, your physical, your mental health. All this plays on you. You don't see any anything directed to other people that are off. I'll give an example. A member of the NDP one day, and this doesn't take in the whole party, so don't. I'm not bashing the whole party. <laughs> But I do, if there's something wrong, the NDP or any party, I tell them. But this one party member said to me one day, I have a question for you. And it's a fair question. He said, Tony, closing stores on Christmas Eve would be unfair to other religions. And I said, yeah, I see where you're coming from. I said, okay, you ask yourself that every MLA in the legislature, every municipal councillor, you ask everybody that's off that same question. Not just retail, everybody. And do you know what? Guess what? He didn't answer me. It's the divide and conquer. It's the mind games that's been played with us over the years. It, it, it's not the can of eye vision. I support a new Green Deal, and I, and I brought it up, different stuff, and I'm going to continue. It should be part of Canada, the whole country. Your time off is important. Your wages are important. I'm not saying make $50 or $100 an hour. No, make a good wage and have time off. That's fair. The top guys have gone too far. I'm not, you know. It can't be all for one, not the other. And eventually, don't listen to me, eh? Don't listen to me. But guess what? There will come a time. There will be a revolution because people will have enough. There's going to be a collapse. There's going to be a collapse. You can't keep continuing to treat people like this. You just can't. It's wrong. 
And if Stephen McNeil doesn't listen to this report, he should resign. His party should just call an election right away. He's ignored me on this Christmas Eve and Mark Fury, too. Suzanne Lowness, you don't hear nothing from her. None of them. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve should be home with their families. I had one person one day say, oh, New Year's Eve isn't as important as Christmas Eve. Well, everybody else seems to think it is. I just want equality and fairness for all workers, and that includes restaurants. I have no problem seeing them close, even if they were open all the time. But the way we were played off against them with the Sunday shopping and different things, the mind games, that's mental, people. That's wrong. That's really cruel. I sat back in a chair one day and I thought about it. I said, I thought about the comments made to me different times and fellow retail workers. And then I thought about other people. Hmm. They never say that to them, just us. And then that's when I come to realize the light bulb went off that we were being scammed by these guys. You know, when you can collect taxes, your government, make money off of somebody that's low income, take advantage of them. They're going to do it as long as we let them do it. No, I don't think we should be letting them do it. And I do believe there are some people in government that are listening. I don't care about corporations making millions. Share your wealth. Let your employees have time off. They're small business owners, for goodness sakes. I, I forgot to put that link on. Both Crease and Millen Wage are small business owners that are giving their employees $15 right now. They can do it. But we have companies putting millions in offshore bank accounts. And by the way, I like to see every company that is doing this for us to know. Every company that's doing this, we deserve to know that. We deserve to know that. And uh, we need to build a better country. And I know there are people say, oh, there's that Tony. He's on there going on again. But you know what? All I ask is you just listen to what I got to say. You don't have to agree with me, but my right to give that opinion. It's my opinion. It's not my opinion of any company. It's not my opinion for any political party or any church. It's my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. You don't have to agree. But you should listen. And there's nothing wrong with listening, because if you don't listen to other people, you don't hear what they got to say. And that's something. CTV, global. CTV Global, what's the other one? My mind's blank. CTV Global. CBC. Anyway, the whole three, all the major networks, not one of them has given me the opportunity to speak, to let you out there decide whether you agree with me or not. And see, you know, that's wrong. That's not a democracy. It's the same way with that plebiscite we had on Sunday shopping. They never told you the truth. Courts never struck down no band. The stores weren't allowed to subdivide like Peach Fatigue was. And that's what they ruled against. They didn't rule on Sunday shopping itself. And then when that got thrown out, the holidays went with it, if you can remember. Then I believe it was Mark Perrin or the, at the time of the Rodney McDonald's government, they came up and they said they fixed the loopholes that retailers used to open up on Sunday. So the ho they had to close on holidays. Well, they could have did that for our Sundays and honored our vote. They lied. They manipulated everything they've done to you. They're treating retail workers mentally wrong, physically wrong. They're treating people low wages, not paying them low wages, letting these corporations do whatever they darn well please. 
Is this the kind of candy you want? Is this the kind of candy you support? Think about it. You have a great day. Thank you for listening. And uh, enjoy your summer. And remember, every day is getting hotter. And we should be doing something about our climate climate as well because everything is linked everything is linked together I love people out there and I love you if you don't agree with me that's okay but I firmly believe in the right to give that opinion and I think every worker should feel free to give that opinion that's not bashing your company online or anything like that but it's giving your opinion, and you're, there's nothing wrong with it. And if you think there's something wrong with it, you're part of the problem. If you're going to keep being quiet and you don't want change, you're a part of the problem. But there's one thing at the end of the day. When I leave this planet, I've known I did everything I could possibly do. If I had money today... I would use that. I'd have the government in court over the Sunday shop and plain and simple. I would. The thing is, it's up to each and every one of us as individuals to make a better country, a, a new green deal. You know, they say about retail, uh, you don't like your job, get another job. That's a line I heard over and over. That's something I got to talk about before I go. You don't like your job? Get another job. Let me ask you this. Do you hear someone tell that to a doctor? To a teacher? To your MLA? Hey, Mark Fury, you don't like what we got to say? Go. I know we can vote them out, but they don't listen to one. Once, once they get in office, they do what they want. How many other people are told you don't like your job? Get another job. And I can tell you, only retail gets treated like that, and that is wrong. That is totally wrong. It's not cool. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. It's a beautiful day out there, and it's not as humid. Have a great day. Bye-bye.